if you're wondering, we never peel any vegetables. We always we always eat the pe peels. And everything falls in a van. We are Sara and Joni from Fantastic and we are still in the Eleja beach. Yeah, we planned to be here just a couple of nights, just testing out when we are camping <laughs> among other campers. But as you can see, you can get your own privacy in here. So you can get your own camping spot and you can be all yourself yeah. if you want. We have changed our spot five times because we have want to experience all the spots is in this area. So it's 2.5 km sand beach where you can camp all around the beach. Yeah, we made a separate video about this Elia beach. We will put the card there if you are interested. But, but yeah, now we are out of water. Our laundry basket is totally full and we are out of food. Yeah, so we will go run some errands. arrived to the Kuparisia and we took LPG from the gas station. We were almost running out of our, both of our refillable tanks. But my anxiety level became higher, not because we are in this town, but we cannot find Joni's wallet. It's missing somewhere. Sarah hides in the, in the toilet paper bag. <laughs> it's all safe. But it was not there. So now I'm really scared. Like, yeah, we still have a valid bank card in my wallet. Bad news. We cannot find Joni's wallet anywhere. Our luck just suddenly changed completely. Yeah, we have to uh, install the fenders and we needed some bolts and screws for it. And I went to a hardware store and showed like, I need teas. It's a gift. <laughs> they never charge us anything. Our heater got broken and we went to the guys to fix it. Well, they diagnosed the problem to the gas, not the machine itself. And they didn't want any money. Same goes to anything. If you go ask something, they don't take money. Yeah, it's a quick way. Like, it's for free, you, my friend. So it's good tip to carry some candy or some souvenirs, like a local wine or something that you can give them back. Because sometimes it's really awkward because they don't take our money and then we don't have nothing to give them back. Yeah, so, no. Okay, this would cost, I think it was three cents per piece, so 24 cents. Yeah. But still, it's, like, it's a gift. <laughs> yeah. but. Also, here is not like a super malls where you can find anything you want or big hardware stores. Usually those are the little hardware stores where they have everything. I don't know how, <laughs> but they have everything. <laughs> so The tiniest little boutique, the more smaller the store is. The more they have stuff in <laughs> yeah, there. It's incredible. So whatever you need, just ask. I went to some uh, water company yard asking for screws. No, 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 no. Paleo Tonkes. The next one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's nice experience. It's like you are back in the 50s or something. You have to ask and you cannot Google. <laughs> That's so hard for us. <laughs> but also I did demolish the, almost the whole van and turned everything upside down and did find Yanni's wallet. Yay. Guess where it was? In his pocket. <laughs> but Sarah pays everything so I don't need wallet. Yeah, that's why this was missing. No. <laughs> I paid like last year or two. Now it's my turn. So now it's your turn to pay. So our cash balance is balanced. Yeah. That's how we live. We In a balance perfect, every yeah, perfect community. Sarah pays everything. Sarah pays everything. Yeah. Women should pay everything. That, uh, that is our new motto. 
women pay everything. Not very algorithm friendly. <laughs> <laughs> we need to cut that down. Let's no. go shop in the yeah, in good mood. Yes. That is one reason why we go the little. That whole cart full of food, 63 euros. It's it's obvious to go in the little. Yeah, I think the prices are with quite high in Greece. We remember that it's much lower. We spend 350 euros approximately to the food on a month. Yeah, that is quite a lot. Also, here in springtime, there is a lot of better co uh, collection of uh, fresh produce and the prices are better in the spring and summer time. I think they double like in the winter time compared to summer. Tomatoes, oranges, uh, paprikas, bell peppers, everything. Everything is uh, double price in the winter time, even in Greece where everything grows 11 months of the year. It's remarkable that you can get your first batch of uh, potatoes in the start of January. <laughs> when there's a, a, over one meter of snow in Finland. Peloponnes area kind of sucks with the laundry places. There's not many of those. We did visit this filial laundry place that is non-profit. Basically family-run place where travelers can meet. And there's a tiny cantina. And we did laundry there. And if they make any profit, it all goes to helping the stray doggies. So it's a good cause. Yes. Take water. There's a fresh water fountain near this Elaya beach. Yeah, and we actually saw there a guy who is driving to the India. And Elaya beach is uh, it's it's different. People come here for day or two and never leave. Never leave. He has been here for three months, <laughs> and so he's behind his uh, schedule three months. And once again, we are parking in a different spot that we have not been yet. So you can always shuffle these places and feel the different kind of vibe and scenery. Yes, now his laundry is done. So again, for the next one and a half months, we don't have to do laundry. Yeah. And making just food. Joni is boiling carrots. He's making us some vegetable patties. And yes, we did go to the grocery store but we are not going to eat all the goodies we bought. It's really essential to keep on track which food item is going bad and eat them. So you don't have any food leftover. Waste. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And we are good at that. We rarely throw any food away. Really rarely. Like I think two times a year. Yeah, we are very frugal at this lifestyle. Frugal at every aspect of life. One fact about the Greek laundry, it's never dry after you have put it on the dryer. So it's good to make your laundry in a sunny day like now. So you can just let them dry in a sun. This is a camping spot, different kind of pine trees. No neighbors in this part, but neighbors all around it. We are continuing our reward method. So whenever we have to go run errands 
or do laundry or something really boring, we treat ourselves with the cold beverages. After everything is over and the potatoes will taste mo so much sweeter after the good beverage. And best Helding lager beer. Argus, yes, but this is a full grain beer. Plate full of veggie patties. Our partly silver Vandalf got scratches a uh, couple of months ago. And well, we are thinking about how we're gonna fix this. Uh, we are not going to use insurance because it's too costly. So we have to get some other ideas. And we bought these fenders to cover up the scratches. So this is the first test fit. Uh, these are for Ducato Maxi base, which we don't have. <laughs> so they don't fit perfectly. They fit barely. <laughs> for example, we did some uh, MacGyvering here just to get it uh, fit there. I don't know. I'm a bit uh, bustled if we do this or not. Because, yeah, it looks quite good, but it's not perfect. But it would be 28 euro, almost perfect fix. Buzzling. But maybe we put this together now. And if we want to make uh, body work somewhere in Serbia or Montenegro or North Macedonia, maybe we go there to fix it properly. And when you take off these trims, uh, buy those uh, clips, because you will break maybe first one or two and then you learn how to take them off <laughs> like I did. But there's one clip that is broken and this is little uh, open. But that has to be dealt when we can get to the Fiat Ducat store. They always have these clips, so that is common spare part. All these plastic trims have worn out in a sunny southern Europe. So if you have any tips how we could gain the color back, it would be really appreciated. The only thing is painting them over with the disruptor paint that can take some beating and scratches would be a nice idea. I did read from some forum that just black shoe polish would be great. We did try to use the heat gun and a hair dryer, but it did not work out. We could not store the blackness to the plastics. I like the shoe police idea, but we want something that is permanent that we don't have to do every year or every five years. We want to do something that lasts a decade. Mm -hmm. Frankenstein. Do you like the new van name? Vandalf the Scandal or Frankenstein Weather? So this was the what the team van is, is doing its best. And this is the result. Trying best and doing something, <laughs> at least. When you try your best, it's always enough. This is the amount of tools we have in a van. Screw heads, screwdriver, knipex, multi-tool and scissors. All tools that need it. In a makeup bag. In a makeup bag. Always when we are put, it's good to do make uh, some small services to the van. I cleaned the solar panel first time in three months. We are getting much more solar on the spring and summer time, so even if the solar panel is dirty, we get enough electricity. Now I'm just uh, 
cleaning up the drainage of the fridge. There is a bowl that collects all the condensation water in one place and there's a drainage to the outside and it's stuck. So every time when we are leaving our camping spot it spills that water inside of the van on the floor. So just using screwdriver to clean the pipe. Small pipe. Yeah, but always there's something. Always. Mm -hmm.